Hello, Unity family. Yes, I'm Digi Francois. Today's theme is a patchwork of different, and I'd like to first start with my intention. It is my intent to share my gift of song, poetry, my message, my love and passion to honor and serve spirit, and let it reach whomever it is meant for, however it is meant to, uh, without judgment, in humility and grace, and in love and light. And know that what I offer here are just my experiences and little tidbits and readings that I've picked up along the way. I want to start with this song. This is by Karen Drucker, and I know most of you know it, so let's sing it. It's Thank You For This Day. Here we go. This healing, this healing, this healing day. Friends, thank you for my friend spirit. Thank you for my friend. Thank you for my friend spirit. Thank you for my friends. My wonderful, my wonderful, my wonderful friends. My wonderful, my wonderful, my wonderful friends. This life, thank you for this life spirit. designed a quilt? I mean, is anyone a quilter? Some of you? Well, I find quilting quite fascinating. You know, I find it quite time consuming, to be quite honest, because it is just so intricate. And the process of mapping out that design and cutting out all of those pieces to exactly the right size that it needs to be to create this sometimes often complex piece of art that is just made from really all kinds of bits of scrap material. I've, I don't think, I, I don't think I've ever really been patient enough for that, but I must admit that I love the idea of it. I love what it looks like, the end result of it. And, you know, in contemplating today's topic, I sort of had that image in my mind, comparing us as human beings as the different tiny pieces of material that results in this beautiful piece of tapestry. You know, each and every one of us is so very different and so very unique in our personalities and in our cultures, in the way we grew up, in what we eat, how we speak, the music we love. I mean, my children, my daughter loves rap. I think rap is hideous, but you know, that's just me. <laughs> I happen to like rock and roll and, and blues and stuff like that. And, and other people think I'm crazy for wanting, for liking those. So, you know, we're just all so different. And of course, even in the way that we present ourselves to the world, we are wonderfully different. And I may be bubbly, you may be reserved. I'm a black, I'm from St. Lucia, black St. Lucian. You may be an Asian American or whatever. We live in such a diverse universe. And I think what makes this universe so wonderfully special is its variety. So when we step outside of what makes the beauty of nature so miraculous and so wondrous is the fact that there are just so many of everything, you know? So many different kinds of everything around us. There's different kinds of trees. There's different tree shapes and sizes and colors and textures and of trees. 
Some trees peel off their barks, which I found out when I was on a trip uh, in um, Victoria, that, that uh, some of the trees peel off their barks and they're very, very smooth. And sometimes inside, like on the outside, it's brown. And on the inside, once the bark is peeled, it's like bright red. These, like, it's just insane how beautifully wondrous all of that is. Some are, are rubbery. Some are spiny and they prick. Some are as tall as the sky. And some are as so wide, you know, like the redwoods, that you can drive a car through it, you know? Some are covered in moss. <laughs> some are covered in edible fruit. Some are poisonous. And, and in all of that, these are just trees. I haven't talked about anything else, just trees. <laughs> we haven't even begun to talk about all the other plants and other, all the other animal species or even bugs. When you think about animals, you know, do you think about all the different kinds and, and you know, there's furry ones, hairless ones. There's those that have hair, those that have fur, those that are smooth, those that are, I mean, it's just amazing. It is just an amazing sight to behold. We can often marvel at the beauty and the bounty of mother nature and yet, when it comes to the individuality of our humankind, we are so ready to judge and to set aside each other and to condemn each other and to belittle each other and to use and abuse or, or to crown. Sometimes it's, it's in, you know, in a light where we put people on pedestals, right? We crown them as being better than. And in the human mind, differences become tools of manipulation to gain power and control. And we forget that in essence, no matter how different we are on the exterior, we are still one heart, one mind, all from one source expressing itself as human. This one is called One Heart and One Mind. And I should let you know, most of these songs are written by me.
our common ground is that we are coming from the same one magnificent universe that houses all of this bounty, one source that creates all of this variety. And each unique yet part of this bountiful universe, right? Each of us are unique, yet we're part of this universe. We are part of the source that created this tapestry that we call humankind. And each with our own purpose, our own perspective, um, you know, we're all just so very different, but we're designed to fit together like those pieces of a quilt. We too are made, just like the animals in, in, in all this glorious universe, we too as people are made in the image of that variety, right? And the beauty of our individuality is celebrated in nature, right? It's celebrated in nature. I mean, if you just look at, again, trees, if you look at the amount of variety there is in flowers, if you look at the amount of variety there is in bees, wasps, I mean, there are all kinds of different sizes and shades and colors. It's just, there is so much wonder of that whole variety, right? The beauty of our individuality is celebrated in nature. So why not with each other? Why not with another human being? Can we accept and allow each other to be ourselves, right? With the understanding that different is good. It different is good. You know, sometimes we have this perception that, you know, just because somebody may be um, reserved or quiet or something, then that's considered to be bad. And somebody who's always smiling all the time and, and you know, can be, you know, irritating and, and you know, like, what is wrong with her? Or, or, you know, we, we have ways of nitpicking at all these differences of people and, 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 and deciding that they are bad, judging that they're bad. Different is good. Can we accept that and understand that different is good? Different is how we are designed to be. This universe, it was designed to be, to have variety and to be different. Different is you and me. And all I ever really want to be is the unique me that I was meant to be, just as you were meant to be, the unique you. I want to be that piece of patchwork that holds the integrity and the structure and the soul of humanity. This one is called All It Takes Is One. And uh, I hope you like it. It's All It Takes Is One to change the world.
served every single day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Okay, I'm going to ask you another question. How many of you here like chocolate? Chocolate? Of course, of course. And those people that don't like chocolate have issues. <laughs> okay, so chocolate is a big, big, big deal for everyone. We all love it, right? But now here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to serve you chocolate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm not going to mix it up. There will be no nuts added. There will be no fruit added. There will be nothing, just chocolate. Now let's see how long you can last eating just chocolate and how long that love of chocolate will last. <laughs> what makes life and us so interesting is that variety, right? We love it even in our food. We want variety. We don't want to eat the same food every day. Who cares if it's chocolate? We don't want the same stuff every day. And this exquisiteness of our difference is, is, is what is our common ground. I'm going to say that again. The exquisiteness of our differences is our common ground. It is our foundation. It is what puts us on the same level playing field. It's the fact that we're all different. There isn't a huge patch of us that are exactly the same. I mean, even identical twins. Think about that. Not even identical twins are the same. Sure, they might look the same, but they have different personalities. They have different likes and dislikes. So the fact what makes us common is the fact that we're different. And I think the minute that we forget that, it becomes dangerous. Now, Daniel Namod's song, I think, says it all. We speak so many languages, have different clothing, different colors, and different names. But different is only dangerous when we forget that in our hearts, we are all the same. And we will remember when we close our eyes to see that such distances were never meant to be. One power, one power, one power. There is one power invisible, and you see it everywhere and every day. One power indescribable. And you speak of it with every word you say. Mysterious until you know the truth. As simple as the love inside of you. Call it God, call it spirit, call it Jesus, call it Lord, call it Buddha, Baula. Angels' wings or heaven's door, but whatever name you give it, it's all one power. Can't you see? It's the power of the love in you and me. One power, one power, one power. Have different clothing, different colors, different names. But different is only dangerous when we forget that in our hearts we're all the same. And we'll remember once we close our eyes and see that such distances were never meant. wings or heaven's door it's Mohammed it's your mind it's your soul and it's your sign it's the universe it's music mother earth or father time but whatever name you give it it's all one power can't you see whatever
actually my first time planting and so I had no idea what to expect and so I planted cherry tomatoes okay see them cherry tomatoes <laughs> and in these cherry tomatoes I happen to have the very same tree happen to grow these ginormous ones this one's kind of wrinkly and I have no idea why it's wrinkly somebody told me it's because I took the um the stem off of it to let it ripen but who knows anyway but I got these giant ones now, I just want you to compare. This is what this is supposed to be growing from my tree, and this is what I ended up with, these and that all together in the same tree. And I thought to myself as I was doing this topic, am I supposed to not like the big ones because I planted cherry tomatoes? <laughs> it's silly, isn't it? If we are able to praise and flourish in and, and be in awe of this patchwork of different, of plants, right, and animals, then why do we not choose love and appreciate each other in the variety that we do come in, right? I can love both of those tomatoes. They're both delicious, right? Why do we not choose love? Why is it important what package we come in? Why is it so important that we fit into one mold over another, right? Can you dare? And by the way, nothing, absolutely nothing on this planet fits into one mold, nothing. So can you dare go against the programmed responses of generations before and love this person's Asian, Asian hair and slanted eyes? and his reserved personality? Can you dare to love her with her blonde hair, her, her white skin, her, and her disabled body, with her twinkling ocean eyes? Can you dare to love me in my black skin, my coarse hair, my smiling face, just as I am, just as God made me? is called Just As I Am.
individuality and your, un your uniqueness. So how do we change? How do we change generations of programming and focus instead on our commonality? Well, one moment at a time, one thought, one smile at a time, one moment of understanding at a time, one courageous, supportive moment at a time, one small, kind gesture at a time, one consideration at a time, one example shown to a learning child at a time, one question, one curious inquisition at a time, one discussion, one moment of acceptance at a time, one blessing, one moment of compassion at a time, one mistake, or error forgiven at a time. One friendship, one giggle, one hug at a time. One gift of precious, wholesome love at a time. One moment at a time. We were born of the same air right? Same one presence, same one planet. We breathe the same air. We drink the same water. The same blood forges through our veins. I'm here to remind us. My intent really is to remind us that we are the same, even in our beautiful variety of differences. We are the same and that we can create beauty with our differences by simply remembering our commonality, which is, guess what? The fact that we're different <laughs> and that we are simply the human expression of the divine. All of us, unique individual expressions of the divine. Can you honor the divine in me as I honor the divine in you? Can you see it? Can you recognize it in yourself and recognize it in me? This one is called Namaste. I celebrate the divinity in me, let my spirit joyfully Namaste and blessed be. together. Namaste. 
work of different. Yes, yes, yes. We are different, but we are interwoven by the same thread. And we feel, we laugh, we dance, we are passionate, we get angry, we get sad, we hurt, we care so deeply, we mourn, we cry, we grieve, we forgive, we love, and yes, we die. We are each just a piece of that patchwork. And with, without each other, there would be no humanity, right? In, in a quilt without each piece, there is no quilt, is there? There are just scattered pieces about. And unfortunately, that seems to be what's happening a lot of in the world right now, and we have to find a way to, to bring, to strengthen and accept and, and bring that idea of our humanity together as one whole, that one patchwork again. The acceptance and celebration of our individuality is that thread that holds us together. And the more we learn to love and appreciate each other, the stronger the patchwork, the stronger the patchwork and the more majestic the design. Can you imagine that world? Can you imagine a world where we choose love over fear? I believe that world is already here. We just have to choose love, not fear. Imagine a world with people of integrity expressing all the truth within. Imagine a world seeking only peace and harmony, encouraging our hearts to sing.
desires for happiness? Do they share your desires for good health or safety for their families? Do they desire to be loved and accepted just as you do? another deep breath and release and let us think with our hearts for a moment how can we show this person love today how can we show them that they are just a part of us that we do not yet know How can we show them that they matter? Let's give that person a nice deep embrace. What would you whisper in their ear to let them know that they matter? As we prepare to come back gently, becoming aware of our surroundings, let's hold that image of that deep embrace. Your fears are my fears. joys are my joys, your tears are my tears, you are a part of me that I do not yet know.
I love uh, what Valerie Kaur says in her book. She says, in See No Stranger, she says, you are a part of me that I do not yet know. Once we understand that it's all about choosing love and not fear, we will finally have heaven in a patchwork of different right here on earth. I really hope that you enjoyed uh, my talk today. I really hope that it moved you and brought you some joy and some meaning, however it is meant, however it was meant to be received. I really hope that you received it today. And I'm just so, so very grateful. And I just want to leave you with this one song. And it's called, Here I Come. <laughs> so glad to be with you. Renewed and rebuilt I've got a song in my heart With joy I dance my part I am on cloud nine One with the divine I've got a smile on my face And I'm ready to face The world Here I come You can sing that part Here I come <laughs> That's it Oh yes, here I've got a love in my heart and the courage to start. I am on cloud nine, one with the divine gratitude and grace. And I'm ready to face the world. Oh, come on now. Here I come. You can sing it with me. Here I come. Here we go. Here I come. That's it. Choose love instead of fear. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Here I come. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here I come. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, yes. Here I come. Hey. Oh, yes. Here I come. Come on now. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready to choose love and not fear. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here I come. I'm ready. 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 Here I come. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here I come. I'm ready. Thank you so much. It was a blessing to be with you. I love you. I love you. I love you.